Thank you to Katana 2x5 from the Discord server for suggesting this one. In The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the Dragonborn DLC takes us to the beautiful island of Soulsteam in the wonderful land of Morrowind. The area has a harsh climate and even more hellish creatures that could stop any adventurer in their path. The DLC also introduces us to Mirak, the first Dragonborn. The adventure will lead us deep into Apocrypha, the plane of oblivion ruled by the Daedric Prince of Fate, Knowledge and Memory, Hermaeus Mora. Apocrypha is one of my favorite places we can visit in Skyrim. The environment and enemies make me feel like I have gone to another realm that is ruled by an all-knowing entity. The books, tentacles, and black liquid goo greatly set the mood for what's to come. Eventually, we will fight Mirak, and after a tough battle, Hermaeus Mora will do the honors of taking care of him once and for all. Most players simply loot Mirak and head back to Soulsteam, but there is a cool secret for Dragonborns who couldn't let that be the end of things. If we bring the skeleton of Mirak to the edge of the battlefield and toss him overboard, we will see that Hermaeus Mora may not have been done with him just yet, as a flash of tentacles will appear and take his body before he hits the waters below. It's important to note that this doesn't happen with any other character in the game, as if we spawn in different NPCs and do the same, they will fall gracefully to the depths of tentacle land. It's interesting that Bethesda put this in the game, and it opens up questions like is Mirak really dead? Was Hermaeus Mora just not done with him yet? Let me know what you think in the comments below. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura!